Yeah, that's a great question. That drives me crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> Which I could always do something along those lines, like along with the coaching and be like, hey, I called all these different. Hi, this is Sailor. Hi, Sailor. Oh, uh, Taylor. Sorry about that. This is Caleb. I was just reaching out because like I help realtors with their mindset and their business. I don't know if that was something you'd be interested in learning a little bit more about at all or not. Oh, no, I'm okay. But thank you for reaching out. Yeah. I do appreciate that. Yeah, I do have one other question for you, if you don't mind. Yeah, well, how can I help? So I've called up a couple of different realtors, and I've just been kind of like baffled with how most of them don't even pick up the phone when it's like that could be a potential buyer or seller on the other side. I didn't know how you, like, if you manage that in a different way to be able to pick up the phone versus, like, not picking up the phone. Um, yeah, that's a great question. That drives me crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a good answer for you. Because I'm like, you, it's literally somebody trying to give you money into their pocket right now, and they aren't even picking up the phone. And I'm like, that just kind of seems, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. I've had two other people, like, text me which has been great, but it sounds like you, yeah. this is probably why I have a feeling you're probably one of the top realtors at the company. I find that any realtors, they never answer their phone. I always have to text them. Like they just, I find that most of the realtors up here in the mountain towns that they don't need to work. They're part-time or like trust funders. So I don't find, uh, there's like a core group of us that actually work full-time, but I find most are, pretty part-time so that's probably my, <laughs> my <laughs> way i look at it or i think about it is that due to the commission being so high on those like realtor like homes out there um i mean they're still they're, they're pretty comparable they're probably whatever um you know you're between that like two and a half and three percent it's still what i see it's pretty average yeah it's just i'm i guess i'm just more referring to like the home price out there because it's like within like the two to three million or like even up to 14 oh, million yeah. or something like that yeah, no, definitely like two, two to three right now is selling a lot more than the one million range. Um, you know, one million used to kind of be like what you needed to jump in, but a lot of the properties around like the one range aren't selling as quickly. So I'm seeing more around like the two to three million dollar houses. And so there are just not as many qualified buyers to do that. So um, maybe that's why you're not getting as many people answering. Which is, is that the range that you're in within the two to five million? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, my team's up here. Gotcha. And are you doing anything for your marketing to like get more potential buyers? Because I have a feeling that there's people maybe not in Colorado that do have those. Yeah, no, my, uh, my brokerage, they actually, they put a lot into lead gen. So, you know, we're not really looking to get anything else, but um, I know I'm lucky I'm with a team. They pay to do that for me. So I'm not looking to add anything on myself yeah no i wasn't offering that to you at all i was just my perspective i'm like if the house got built and there's money out there then on the flip side of that coin there's somebody out there that's looking for that house it's just trying to find them in the right place or get them to the right like area so that they can actually buy that house in the first place yeah yeah i know they do a lot of lead gen through zillow and, and uh, capturing people who are driving through so um yeah that's kind of of how we do things of course and you like how things are working out for you like you haven't run into any like major problems or anything like that that you are aware of nope i'm i am happy where i am awesome taylor well i don't want to take i i could keep asking you hundreds of questions i have i'm always so curious about this industry and what you guys do to make success but i'll let you get back to it in case you have other people that you're wanting to call up on or anything like that because i noticed some other realtors don't even like making calls to some of the prospects which to me that also like just baffled my mind away too i'm like just pick up the phone and make dials, but not everybody's into that type of thing. So I yeah, completely that understand. Is true. <laughs> hey, yeah, unfortunately, I'm on a team that thinks differently, and we do <laughs> lots of cold calling. But um, but yeah, no, I do appreciate you giving me a call, and uh, good luck. I'd, re I'd recommend yeah texting if you can't get other people on the phone. Yeah, I like the face to face stuff. Like texting and email is chill and all, but it's just like I don't get like there's a different dynamic between having a phone call and a conversation with somebody compared to just like a text or an email. I might send it over later or something like that, but I just, this is always my way of communicating. I feel like there's different energies and like you can just kind of like feel people out a little bit better on where they're at and kind of yeah. meet their needs a little mo more than just like, oh, I open this, I ignore it and I toss in the trash type of thing. So I like this yeah, for sure. a lot more, but yeah, I appreciate that Taylor and I hope you have a good rest of your day and hopefully you can yeah, get a deal too. closed down. If there's anything I could uh, ever help with up here in the mountains. Yeah, as soon as I get enough money, once I get a couple of clients, then I'll, you'll be the first one I reach out to because I love to have a home out in the mountains. That's, that's my goal. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. 
All right, sounds good. Well, I appreciate your time. Keep, yeah, keep you, it at it. you too. Have a good one. Bye. So yeah, I could have done a little bit more on that one, but I'm just I'm also just having conversations, dude, because a lot of the times people don't even want to have the conversations. Hi, it's Mike Kelly with. And I also found it very interesting how she's like, yeah, most realtors don't even pick up their phone, which I'm like, yeah, no, that is very, very interesting. But like the people that do pick up their phone, clearly that's why they are succeeding is because they're picking up their phone and they're having the conversation, even if it's not a conversation that they're expecting, but at least they can respond and respond and respond. And that's the key thing is you want to be able to just pick up the phone and have these conversations in the first place.